This is a loaf of soap. And it's beautiful. It is called Autumn Night. It is a one of a kind. We will never be able to duplicate it because it was a hot mess. So we're going to see what it looks like inside. And why was it such a hot mess? Because somebody didn't screw the mold together good. And somebody didn't check to make sure the mold was screwed together good. And so the soap leaked out all over the counter and I had to scoop it up and just throw it back in the mold. <laughs> so we are going to see what one counter swirl looks like. That's what we're going to call it. This yes. is a counter swirl. And it smells amazing. Yes, it does. Satisfying Ding. ding. Here we go. Ding! ding. <laughs> Soap is ready. Interesting. Ooh. That looks cool. Let us see. It'll look different all the way through. I yes, promise. Yes, it will. Ooh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. I like the teardrops through the middle of it. Oh gosh, look at this. Turn around on the other side of that bar. Ooh. Holy mac, this is the fun of making soap. We really have no idea what exactly this is going to look like until we cut it. I'm just shocked. Now I can't wait to cut the one that didn't plop that should have actual Nice, I love drops. the streaks through there. Or raindrops mm -hmm. in there. Very cool, nice. Mm -hmm. The tops are yeah, the, the tops are super cool. I love it. Yep. All right, time to cut the second loaf that stayed in the mold correctly. Because her business partner put oh, this look, one together. Oh look, this loaf right. matches my apron. It does. Look Why? At the side of it. Because it's fall. Yes. Because that's so fall. cool. All right, Let's here we go. See what secret gem may be hiding inside. By the way, if you're getting into soap, you need to get giant soap cutters like this. They will save you so much time. Oh yes. <laughs> wait, wait for it. Wait. I don't want to get your finger in my can. No, you're not gonna get me. Ding, ding. Look a little ding. <gasps> Dun, 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 dun. One. These look awesome. Kind of. <laughs> In the middle. That looks so cool. Mm -hmm. There's the top. See what happens when she's left to her own devices? This is what she comes ah, up with. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's beautiful. Good job. I'm kind of obsessed with the tops of those. I know, it turned out pretty. It so oh, it good. smells amazing. You yes. guys, we are dying for fall. So Autumn night. We made fall soaps. Mm -hmm. Our house smells like Bath and Body Works because we have all these yes. fall things going on. Ooh, the candy corn candy soap. Candy corn soap. Smells so good. So we made mm -hmm. those this weekend. This is an activated charcoal bar. It's yes. got eucalyptus, rosemary, and peppermint in it. Mm -hmm. it smells, smells fantastic. Wonderful if you like herbally, yes. clean smells. And these are called Into the Woods, yes. and they're just very earthy, more of a manly scent. Okay. So, Laura is making a vanilla cinnamon, cinnamon latte soap that is just pouring up fabulously. It, I mean, literally looks like a cup of coffee I would drink. Oh, wow, look at the swirls. That is just gonna be gorgeous. Yeah, I'm excited. And if I didn't have a cup of coffee sitting over there, I would definitely be <laughs> fixing one now. Because, mm, it smells amazing. This one has quite a bit more of the cream colored in here. 
kitchen. Oh, that is just pouring gorgeous. It is doing exactly what I had hoped that it would do. Mm -hmm. Never spend any time as a barista, not a super fancy cup of coffee pourer, but man, two of us soap sisters, we can drink some coffee. Yes, yes we can. Oh, that one almost looks like it has hearts through it. Mm-hmm. Why don't you ever put hearts in my coffee? Because I don't pour your coffee out of lie. Okay, I appreciate that. <laughs> Pour it out of love, but I don't pour it out of lie. The, the first day that you do, this partnership is dissolved. <laughs> well, considering you put colostrum in mine one day, I'm thinking someday there's going to be a you know, payback. You know, that's the hazards of living on a farm. Nobody knows what's milk, what's not milk. It was a mistake. And you were it was for hilarious. It. <laughs> that was like the oh. greatest mess up ever of a day. That was so funny. So that's the last of that. And then what are, what are you gonna do to the top of it? Um, another picture right here of just this super creamy deliciousness. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pour a thin layer over the top, dribble in some more of the chocolate brown and a little bit of bronze mica that will look kind of cinnamony. And then I'm gonna just swirl them across the top. So we're just gonna let it sit for 15 or 20 minutes. So long as we leave this alone, it'll stay nice and liquidy. Yep, and we'll pour a little zhuzh over the top. And we will show we'll it show to you before we put the soap night night. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. All right, we are back. And Laura decided to add a sprinkle layer of espresso. Very finely ground <laughs> espresso powder. Uh, before pouring her top and we are ready. Hopefully this will just sit super nice right on the top. Oh yeah. And not break through at all. She's using the spatula to break the fall. If your soap is not, like I'll jiggle this one. That's pretty set up. If it's not set up or it's questionable and you're pouring a what you want to be a separate layer, then you want to break the fall of what you're pouring in. Because otherwise, the weight of what you're pouring in is going to go right through. And then you don't have this cool topper. You have a swirled in mix, which can still hey, turn out just fine. Some of our greatest uh, debacles yeah. and shenanigans have turned out amazing. <laughs> yeah, like that one time that her business partner didn't fasten the end on the mold and she was here by herself, you know, making soap. <sighs> and then all of a sudden there's soap all over the counters and the floor. Yeah, it's great. And the everywhere. These are... Mr. Do Right has an Etsy store, and these are uh, HDPE mm -hmm. uh, that he makes that are amazing. This set are four to five pound yes. molds. Uh, so this set will make four to five pounds of soap. <laughs> so cool. That sparkle. There's some shimmer shimmer. We like to shimmer shimmer. Oh wow. Look at that. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Sparkly. Can we 
just talk about the fact that this looks like I accidentally dumped caramel outside the edge of my mold of soap? And that she should not run her finger across it and lick pop it. it in her mouth. Yeah. No. Welcome to being lie sick 101. I was gonna say no licky licky lie. Well, we'll have to wait 24 hours to see what this looks like, but I know it is gonna be gorgeous. Yeah, I'm excited for these. Very excited. Cool. Oh, I just want to draw attention to Laura's shirt. Wow, oh, it has all my my goat names on it. And you will be you'll be meeting the girls. Oh yes, you will. Uh, because they play a crucial role. Yep. In our soaping. Yep. So they are the suppliers of the infamous goat milk. Mm -hmm.